Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you're joining us from. Thank you so much for joining us today as we celebrate Earth Day. Uh, we are very excited to be joined by three CSP alum uh, to share their experience about how they are investing in their planet on Earth Day. So I'm going to go ahead and take us virtually to Albania to meet with Arlis. So let's get Arlis up on the live. Hi. Hi, Arlis, how are you? I'm fine, how are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm so glad that you're joining us today. Thank you and happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. <laughs> I'm so excited and uh, I let know all of my friends and I thank them for their support for following me today live. Yes, thank you for sharing and thank you to all of them for joining. Well, we'll jump right in, Arliss. I know you do so much great work for our Earth. And I wanted to jump in by asking, you know, today is Earth Day and the theme for this year is invest in our planet. So I wanted to ask you, how do you invest in our planet? Yes, so uh, again, thank you, dear Catherine, for having me here. I'm Arlis Alikai, the Executive Director of the NGO Environmental Center for Studies and Implementation here in Albania. How am I investing in our planet? I'm investing in our planet in two ways. First one is that uh, I always try and invest in nature-based solutions, including the seas and oceans. Uh, we all know that uh, technological innovation isn't the only way to uh, save the planet, but the immersed uh, restorative power of nature itself is one of the most cost-effective ways to tackle uh, climate change. By protecting sustainability management and restoring natural ecosystems, the planet's blocks, swamps and marshes, uh, landscapes collectively known as petlands, for instance, cover just 3% of the Earth's surface. So yet restore almost one of the third of the world's carbon. So nature-based remedies can also be found in the ocean, which produce half of the uh, planet's oxygen. And uh, in Albania, we, we, uh, we are blessed by God that we have so many, we are like three of lands is uh, surrounded by uh, the end. And we use this and I always try to put this in civil society. Another way that I'm investing in our planet, and this is my favorite one, is that I'm investing in peace through youngsters, through the programs that I do in my NGO. Uh, war doesn't only cost human lives and cause uh, widespread hunger, poverty, and suffering, but it also hurts the planet. Uh, and we can see also by, uh, described by UNEP as a silent victim of uh, violent conflict. The environment is, of, is often directly dam damaged during wartime. Uh, scored earth tactics, uh, tactics uh, often include destroying infrastructure, targeting industrial sites, poisoning water wells and soils, and torching crops and forest land. So conflict also makes achievement, even global cooperation, necessary. And uh, through peace, we are on the we are on the right side also for the environment. And uh, I want to share something just like this flower here that needs, uh, that needs light to move itself. Uh, also light, which we need also light in the environment that is peace, peace. I also created today my uh, palm of joy in my house and I bought this flower, which smells very good. I don't know the, I think it is a, is a water flower. And uh, yeah, so these are the two ways that I invest in the planet. Thank you for sharing, Arliss. And I was really struck by your intersections between peace and the environment and uh, how big a role the environment plays in everything that we do. Um, so thank you for sharing. And we've enjoyed so much uh, working with you this past week as we hosted our annual solutions summit that was focused on combating climate change and building sustainable communities. And so I wanted to ask you a bit about uh, you had from meeting with other environmentally focused uh, CSP community members from the summit. Yeah, the summit has been a great achievement for me. I had the pleasure to be in the 
Zoom meeting with one of America's greatest activists, such as Tim, the Christopher, it, his speech and his experience really struck me. But also I like because uh, I love it to hear from experience and challenges from fellows all over the world. But what was special about this summit is that we were not just having a quality time and uh, uh, let's say addressing environmental challenges, but we also came with solutions and we learn from each other experience. So this, I would take like the best takeaway of the summit on my behalf. Great, thanks for sharing. I agree, I think the community that's built at the summit is so special and I'm glad that you felt that too. So my last question for you is, as you mentioned, you're very involved with working with youth. And so I wonder if you have one action or one thought that you could provide to others who are looking to invest in our planet today on Earth Day and every day. Thank you so much. So I would say that if you are thinking about the environment, uh, take action on Earth Day uh, 2022. And one great way is by searching Earth 911's Earth Day events listing for activities near you. And this is available all over the world. Another way is to go carbon neutral for Earth Day, offsetting means that uh, you you can find you can fund projects that reduce climate emissions elsewhere on the earth. For example, it could be shutting down a coal-fired power plant in India and replacing it with solar or wind power. That's great. Thank you, Arliss. Um, it was so great to join you um, from you're joining from Albania, and now we are going to virtually travel to another alums country. Um, we're going to try to bring Ferdinand from Cameroon. So thank you so much, Arliss. Thank you so much to everyone. And do not forget that Earth belongs to everyone. Earth is the common thing that we have. Goodbye. Thank you, Arliss. All right. Let me see if we can get Ferdinand up on the live. Just one moment here. All right, well, I don't see Ferdinand joining right now. So we're gonna shift our direction. Um, and instead of traveling to Cameroon now, we're gonna go ahead and travel to Sri Lanka and bring Sarah on to talk with us about her work and how she is investing in our planet. So let's see if Sarah can jump on. Hi, Sarah. Hi. I'm so glad to have you joining us. It's so great to have you here. It's so nice to be here as well. Thank you for having me. Of course. Well, Sarah, I love the work that you do um, for our planet. And I would love for you to share a little bit more with all those that are viewing. So I'll ask the same question to you. And how are you investing in our planet today? and every day. Um, so hi everyone, I'm Sarah from Sri Lanka and I'm the founder of Alkin, which is a, a sustainable jewelry label. So um, what we do is actually uh, create jewelry out of waste material. So <clears throat> our waste, we mainly focus our collections on um, plastic, single use plastic bottles. So we create jewelry with them and we don't create a lot. We create limited edition pieces so that we don't um, also, again, create a lot of waste from our end. So all our pieces uh, are made in a very conscious manner. So what we do is uh, we don't use too much of electricity. We don't use too much of water. We make sure that we recycle all the material, um, the waste that's in the workshop as well, and also the metal that we uh, use. So it all goes in a cycle. And we also tell our customers and clients to um, 
that they have the option of giving back their piece to us so they can uh, get it redesigned or, and, or, or we can recycle it into a new piece. So either way. Um, so in that way that we are conscious about what we are putting out and we, uh, we also take the responsibility into um, reducing the amount of waste. So yeah, that's what I do. That's so great. And I didn't know that piece about how you take pieces back and redesign them and reuse them. That's amazing. And I know uh, you were also at our summit uh, this past week and I joined your expert workshop that you gave um, challenging us to think more about our waste. Um, and I was really stuck, struck by that and have been thinking about, you know, all the waste that I produce and what I can do to change my behaviors. Um, so I thank you for that. And I wonder if you could also share with us any major takeaways that you had from that summit of um, DSP participants focused on environmental issues. Yeah. So, um, when I, like, when I applied for the summit, I was really interested in like knowing about, um, learning more about like agriculture and um, the innovative uh, side of agriculture and food security and things like that. Uh, but surprisingly, I did learn about agriculture. Like uh, one of the major, two of the major takeaways from that end was learning about aquaponics and also about black gold, which, um, uh, which John Fritz gave, uh, he gave his presentation, um, his Ignite talk. So it was really enlightening to uh, see that. And it's something that I think we can use back here, both of the techniques. So uh, apart from that, what uh, one of the major other takeaways was um, the collective recovery, the concept of collective recovery, which, uh, which really surprised me to think that we never uh, think of collective recovery. We always think of like group work or like working together, but we never think of like looking after each other and how in the long term that really helps. So yeah, Those yeah. Are, I think I have three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I really connect with that about collective care and uh, you know, just like you said, we're always working as a team to do the work that we do to help the environment, but are we working as a team to care for one another? And that was a challenge that was put out at the summit. And I think it's a really important thing to think about. Yeah, it was. <laughs> okay, and now I'll ask you the same question as well as what, what expert advice can you give others that are viewing as to an action they can take today on Earth Day, but into the future every day uh, to invest in our planet? I guess uh, the most important thing that we have to remember is that every day is Earth Day because um, just because it's not Earth Day doesn't mean that we, we can forget about the issues. So the other important thing is that we have this culture of consuming a lot of things than we need. So maybe uh, try and be conscious about something that you uh, consume a lot. So try to be con uh, try to be very conscious and consume less. That's the main idea that I want to give away. Thank you so much. Such a good point. We don't need to consume everything that we are and we can always reduce. So thank you for putting that in our heads to think about uh, this Earth Day. And thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It was so nice to be here. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you everybody for joining. And um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. All right. So we will try again to now travel to Ferdinand in Cameroon. So give me just a moment to see if we can pull him up.
All right, well, it seems that Ferdinand is still having some connectivity issues, um, but I see that Arliss has some quotes that he wants to share. So we'll travel back to Albania to Arliss to hear um, what he has to share. You hear? Uh, Hi, Abek. Yes, hi again. It was, it was so great to hear from Sarah's uh, presentation and what she had uh, advised. I totally relate to that. So, uh, in honor of our day, I've put together the, this list of some of my favorite environmental quotes. I hope you find them as inspiring as I do. And uh, we have an obligation to take care of this world and all share and another day is a great and to share all of this in the earth day is a great opportunity to celebrate the progress that we have made it's uh so i love this environmental quote from mother teresa actually she was albanian and uh she uh and this is my favorite quote i only feel angry when i see waste when i see people throwing away things we could use a lovely quote about the world of four Earth days, also this one. The Earth is what we all have in common. Wendell Berry. Progress comes as we adjust our, adjust our minds and continue to explore. Progress is impossible without change, and those who cannot cha change their minds cannot change anything. George Bernard Shaw. Ain't this true, but I love running through the forest and exploring the environment. Time spent among trees is never time wasted. That's why we have to protect the trees. Away, away from men and towns, to the wild wood and the downs, to the silent w uh, wilderness, where the soul needs to re repress its music. According to the environmental quote, I need to go plant a few trees. He that plants three loves other besides himself, by Th uh, Thomas Fuller. We can make changes, and this is an awesome, an awesome quote for Margaret Matt. Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. One of the first conditions of happiness is that the link between man and nature should not be broken. Awesome quote about the environment is also this. The environment is where we all meet, where we all have a mutual interest. It is one, the one thing all of us share. This environmental quote is a great reminder of our step uh, stewardship over the earth. We have a duty to take care of. The earth will not continue to offer its harvest except the faithful step worship. We cannot say we love and uh, the land and then take steps to destroy it for uh, use by the future generations. Nature is painting for us day after day pictures of infinity beauty. Like music and art, love for nature is a common language that cannot transcend political or social boundaries. I love watching the sunrise, don't you Kate? <laughs> Nothing is more uh, beautiful than the loveliness of the woods before sunrise. Everything we do has an impact, and this quote about the environment is definitely a good reminder of that. You cannot get through a single day without having an impact on the world around you. What you do makes a difference, and what you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. I have three more. <laughs> We have to learn to sacrifice simple things now so our future generations have a wonderful world to live upon. What an inspiring quote. The, the ultimate test of man's conscience may be his willingness to sacrifice something today for future generations whose words of thanks will not be heard. What's the use of a fine house if you haven't got a tolerable planet to put it on? Electric cars are definitely with a wave of the future. Environmental friendly cars will soon cease to be an option. They will be become a necessity. A necessity. 
And these were my 22 quotes, like a symbolic message for the today's. I hope that you enjoyed. <laughs> Thank you so much, Arliss. And I loved the one quote about how we are all making an impact every day. So I challenge everyone who's watching to think about the impact you're making on our Earth today as it is Earth Day and the impact that you want to make in the future. So thank you to Arliss and Sarah for joining. Um, unfortunately, Ferdinand couldn't join, but we'll hear from him surely in another event. So thank you all and happy Earth Day. Thank you all. Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. Salutate you all with a Michael Jackson song. Earth song. <laughs> Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye.